All right. So I've been using the Mi Band 5 for about a month now, and I think it's time to give my thoughts about it and answer the two most asked questions. Is it worth it? If I have a Mi Band 4, should I upgrade? Let's find out. Okay, in the box you will find the Mi Band 5, the new magnetic charger in which I kind of like and the bulky manual that contains a lot of languages. The Mi Band 5 cost about 69 New Zealand dollars here in New Zealand and about 32 dollars that is US dollars. I will leave a link to purchase the Mi Band 5 in the description below. The Mi Band 5 weighs about 12 grams and it has a 1.1 inch AMOLED display that have a peak brightness of about 450 nits. It is also equipped with an improved air rate sensor, 11 spot tracking modes, about 14 days battery life, a vibration motor to alert about incoming notification and it also has water resistance. Setting up the Mi Band 5 for the first time is quite easy. You just download the Mi Fit app on your phone and add the band from the, the plus icon in the app. After some minutes setting up and updating, the Mi Band 5 will be ready for you to use. Navigating through the band interface, you will see the home screen, the status, the PAI, which stands for Personal Activity Indicator, Menstruation Cycle Tracking, Heart Rate Measurements, Stretch Measurements, Breathing Exercise, 11 Spot Tracking Modes, Previous Notifications, Event Reminders, The Weather, you also have a um, remote camera shutter to control your phone's camera, music control for you to remotely control the music playing on your phone and some other minor settings. Okay, if you are finding this video interesting, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. It really goes a long way for me and if you don't like it, hit the dislike button twice. <laughs> The mobile app is quite easy to use. The home screen shows you summary of your health in which you can expand to show you a more detailed trend. You can also check summary of your workout. Now going to the profile then clicking on Mi Band 5, you will get access to all the settings and modifications you can make to your Mi Band 5. You can start from choosing different styles of watch faces. Um, setting up the incoming call notification, the alarm settings, the app alert, that is you can decide on the app that you want to receive notification from on your band and you have so much other settings and customization. So what do I think? I think the Mi Band 5 is the best value smart band you can buy right now. And it isn't surprising because the mid band series has always been the best smart value bands for some years. The ultra light weight of the Mi Band 5 of about 12 grams makes it easy for you to put on without any inconvenience. The water resistant feature is also a nice addition as well. It has a very bright screen and it's plenty visible on a sunny day. The price is relatively low compared to other bands or watches out there. The battery life is just sweet. 14 days of battery life unlike Apple and Samsung watches with maximum of about 2 days battery life. The new magnetic charger makes it easier to charge. There is no always on display which I understand. With always on display the battery is gonna last. It's not gonna last but I would also at least like to see an option. The sleep tracking isn't reliable. Personally, my sleep time is red. I sleep around 4 a.m. and wake up around 10 a.m. I also take like one hour nap from like 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. And because of my wet sleeping times, the Mi Band doesn't track my sleep. But for the sake of this review, I tried sleeping around 11 p.m. once and it did a good job tracking my sleep. The band doesn't support automatic 
workout tracking which my Samsung watch does flawlessly. So will I recommend the Mi Band 5? A big yes. However, if you currently have a Mi Band 4, I see no reason to upgrade due to the minor changes. So what do you think? Will you get one? Or you just rather get Apple or Samsung watches? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button. It really goes a long way for me. Thank you all and see you guys on the next one.